This is a video to help certified users at AMT learn what they need to learn to be able to use the new DeWalt planer. You must already have known how to use the Makita planer that you were certified on. This video is not a substitute for certification. We're going to go over the differences between this planer and the Makita. The most important differences are the turret stop, which limits the depth of cut, this depth of cut indicator, and the ability to change the feed speed using this switch. And we're going to talk about how you set the depth of the planer. So here's a piece of wood. Perhaps I'd like to plane it thinner and make it smoother. And if it were the Makita planer, you would just walk up to it and you would just adjust the depth but it doesn't quite work that way with the DeWalt planer. I actually can't even reach the depth of thickness for this piece of wood. And that's because of a feature called the turret stop. The turret stop right here is designed to set the minimum thickness of a piece of wood. Right now, it's set to one and a quarter inches, and this piece of wood is thinner than that. So the turret stop is preventing the tool from operating at all. All you really have to do is move it to a setting that is thinner than the final result you want, or equal to the final result. If I wanted three-quarter stock, I could set this to three-quarter and get something very close to three-quarter. If you need a precise size, you'll need to use calipers. So um, here is another piece of wood. I'm going to raise the planer to cut through it. And you can see this depth of cut gauge here showing how much it would cut on each pass. So I will direct your attention to these numbers along the bottom, 3, 6, 9, and 12. Those refer to the widths of the wood. This is about 6 inches. So going up here, the maximum depth of cut is 3 30 seconds for a 6 inch piece of wood. But that's the maximum. You should not go for the maximum. You should go for quite a bit less than the maximum. And if you want really good results, you want to go like a 64th of an inch for the best results. Another feature that the DeWalt planer has is a speed control right here. Right now it's in speed two, which actually is faster. Faster speed is a rougher cut, but it gets through the material faster. You'd want to use the faster speed for most of your passes, and you'd want to use the slower speed for your final pass, probably in combination with a smaller depth of cut. The actual thickness is reported over here by this red, by the top of this red bar. It's fairly accurate, but again, if you need something precise, you'll need to use calipers. One of the most important things you need to know is never change the speed unless the machine is running. Yep, that's right, the machine has to be running before you can change the speed. Do not just change the speed and then turn it on. You should not be using the machine. There shouldn't be wood in it when you change the speed. But it has to be running. 